Okay. Hi everyone. Um, tonight is more like a vlog. I call it a vlog confessional. I don't really usually do these type of videos. Usually, I do v videos about like beauty and, and fashion and how my modeling is going and all that stuff. And uh, tonight, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm vlogging for the first time, and, uh, I guess, like, the reason why I'm doing something different is because this really wasn't planned for at all. Like, all my other videos are planned for. This wasn't planned for at all. It's not even <clears throat> relating to my channel. This is just something real that, like, touched my heart, and I just, I'm sorry, I just wanted to get, like, real for a moment. I just wanted to like get real uh for a moment and for tonight. Um so what I'm gonna talk about tonight is pr pr pretty much um trials and tribulations. So pretty much right now like I'm going through a series of trials and tribulations and I'm I'm not gonna get in into it and go into detail of like what it is or anything like that. Um, I'm actually a very, very private person. So, um, it's, this is actually unusual for me to open up like this and be so honest and especially online on the internet, like with the world with everyone. It's, it's very odd for me because I don't usually open up like this, not even with like close friends. <laughs> Or my boyfriend. I kind of, um, if I have something that's bothering me, I withdraw a little bit and kind of just, like, deal with it on my own. Um, it's not good to do that, but I do that. I don't recommend to do that. I just do that. I have a bad habit of doing that. Um, so, yeah. Um, really, in those cases, I really should be leaning on God, and I'm actually going to get to that later on in my vlog. So, I'm going through a series of trials and tribulations right now. And um, it's gotten, like, for me to deal with it and for me to handle it and, you know, the stress and anxiety from it. It's gotten to a point where it's it's so much that it has, you know, caused a lot of tears for me. And, you know, it's caused um, some depression and anxiety. You know, anxiety to where um, I've had to go to the doctor, you know, and get medicine for it. And, um, I was still, like, it has helped, the medicine has helped, but I was still, you know, like, um, still a little depressed after that. It helped tremendously, but I was still, you know, slightly depressed after that, dealing with, uh, what's going on right now. And, um, I turned on, um, an inspirational message online. It was Joyce Meyer, um, how to break free from anxiety and deal with stress. And I really do like watching Joyce Meyer because, for one, I feel like she's real. And um, this this vlog should really be called just real because I talk about that a lot tonight. But um, I feel like she's just real. She tells it like it is. She's very open. She's very honest. And she's just very blunt. She doesn't care. I mean, she's not trying to hurt your feelings, but she doesn't care if you don't like what she necessarily has to say. She's just real about, hey, you know what? This is what I went through, and this is what I learned from God. Am I perfect? No. You know, I went through this. I went through sexual abuse, da-da-da-da. But you know what? God helped me through that and endured me through that. That's what she talks about. That's what she has said. Um... And, and yeah, for the record, that's nothing that I have said. That's stuff that she has said in her preaching. And I feel like a lot of day, like a lot nowadays, I don't really hear speakers, pastors, or preachers get real like that and get like so vulnerable, vulnerable to where they're emotionally naked with the audience. And I feel she gets emotionally naked a lot with the audience. And I'm, I'm not trying to be perverted when I say that. I really am just trying to say that she's just really blunt she's real and I feel like when she's on that stage and she's talking to people I feel like she is giving it to you like she would if she like she would if she was alone with you or she would if there was no cameras or 
she would talk to you the same way as if it was one-on-one. I just feel like she's really real. And then she's quick to point out her weaknesses and her shortcomings and to say that I'm not perfect at all. I'm not here to judge anyone at all. I'm just telling you what I learned from God and what I believe God is telling me to say to you guys. And I really liked that and respected that a lot. And, and by all means, I'm not here to do that today. I'm not here to say, oh, I'm going through this and God told me to say this to you. No, I'm not here to say that because I'm not a preacher or a pastor by any means. I have a lot of respect for them, but I'm not that. I am just a girl that just decided to just get real for a moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm just a girl that just decided to just get real for a moment and just decided to just like kind of let stuff, let it all out and just talk, you know, and, um, (laughs) I'm sorry. And, um, (laughs) and I don't, I don't really talk about like how I'm feeling. I'm sorry, um, I don't really talk about how I'm feeling to people in my life because I I just, I don't know why, I'm just a very private person and I guess I always think like, oh, it's better to deal with it alone, it's better to go through this problem alone, but it's not, like, you really do need friends to be there and most of all, you do need, you know, God to be there, or I do at least. So, like, tonight, I just decided to, like, talk to you guys and tell you guys what's going on since I can't really open up to people in my life or open up to my friends or or my boyfriend or my best friends or family about what I'm feeling. Um, So tonight, that's just what I'm doing, just talking about that. And, like, pretty much um, what I gathered from the message was that you're going to go through trials and tribulations but like what you're supposed to do when you're going through it is you're supposed to lean on God. You're supposed to trust him. And it's the hardest thing to do. It really is. Because at the end of the day, you do not know your outcome. You do not know the outcome of the circumstance, of the situation that you're in. You don't. And because of that, it's a lot harder to trust when you don't see. And Joyce Meyer had then said, but that's where faith comes in. That's where faith comes in. You know, that's why you have faith. You're trusting in something that you're not seeing right now. And you trust that you're going to get it. You trust that it's all going to turn out all right. You trust that God is going to win that victory for you. You do. Um, Nations have trusted the Lord when they went to war. Not all nations, but there have been some. And, you know, that's what she was, like, talking about. And I was then, right after she said that, I said, well, I guess I just don't have faith. I don't have faith, you know. And um, she then said, and before you say you don't have faith, and at that moment I thought, is she reading my mind? Like, is Joyce Meyer reading my mind or something? Did God tell you to say that to me? And um, she then went on to say, and before you say you don't have faith, stop right there because it's ridiculous. You do have faith. You have faith when you got on a plane that it's going to land safely. You have faith that the chair that you sit on is going to hold you up. You have faith that... Uh, you're going to wake up in the morning. You had faith that I was going to show up here tonight to talk to you guys. So then when she put it like that, it was like, wow, that really puts it into perspective for me because like, yeah, I do have faith. I have faith at, you know, the little things or even some important things like waking up in the morning that I didn't realize I had faith for, but I did. And um, if I can have faith about those things, I can and I should have faith about going through these trials and tribulations and knowing that God is going to help me endure them and he's going to be there with me and there's going to be times where I can't walk or it's just going to be too hard. It's going to be too heavy for me and where God just like carries me through and I just kind of wanted to share that tonight because that's something I'm going through and I kind of wanted to like let it out a little bit. It feels therapeutic for me and um a lot better after I did that and um I will never like I won't maybe one day I'll go into detail about what these trials and tribulations 
were or are right now. But as of currently, I don't want to. I'd like to keep that to myself. Now, this vlog is about to end, and I'm about to do a part two to this. So, I'm, I'm going to film it right now, though. So, I'll see you on the next video.